Every now and then I be having plays that should make the top 10. At least an honorable mention. Oh my god. I call him piss stains, welcome to the terror dome The danger zone, can't estrange your own, bang a blown You set in stone, leave my name alone I live like I'm dead already, I think like I'm shot in the head already For me it's what y'all niggas never ready Double grip on the evil, make sure the desert's steady Lately been playing a lot of tunes to get my shirt off on Xbox Did it already on PS5 but hadn't done it on Xbox Series X yet so I guess it just never dawned on me to, you know, work to take my shirt off. Something I do every single year, but I didn't really know you could do it again. So if you haven't done it, you should definitely do so. I think after five wins, the ATM quest pops up for you to remove your shirt. You only need 25 wins, probably could get it done in one day. Took me like two evenings, but if I started in the morning, especially if I ran with my boy Captain Lotto, could have definitely got it done in one day. But this is some of that footage, me and my boy Cap dominating the twos. Started the year off running twos on PlayStation, but now I think I'm gonna make a comeback. I had a whole lot of fun playing this mode, and you can get so many more wins. Definitely clean up your, your plate. If your plate is like a gold plate, trying to get to Hall of Fame, you can win a ton of twos games and get it right. So let me know in the comment section if you guys wanna see some live, intense, face cam gameplay footage. On the two, maybe even in the Andy up. I've actually decided to start making my way over there. I had a couple good games over there recently. And uh, now that this build is almost maxed out, I feel a lot more confident heading back into the Andy up. So look for some footage on that real soon. Unless you guys want to see me navigate back over to current gen on the PS4, which is what I do plan on doing anyway. I have a build over there that I haven't maxed out yet. Things like a 94 overall. So I could get it done over there as well. I do know that last weekend I played in that event. It was like some kind of deck party event, 5v5 on the on the top floor of the, the cruise ship. And because I wasn't maxed out, we didn't do too great. I don't really have a solid squad on current gen either, so all of those factors make things tough, but I'm down for it if you guys are. Just remember to send me a message, because you guys know I live on next gen. But I think it's definitely worth it, me making that return to current gen. I feel like I left that community a while back and I don't think that was right. So it's time to make a comeback. I remember in 2K21, you could actually sit down at random benches and chairs and things like that. I wish they would let us do that again in 2K23. It was kind of cool to just sit and relax and wait for your boys to spawn up on you. Quick update on my build. Should be a 99 overall this weekend. I've been grinding on other games, so it kind of slowed the grind down a little bit, but recently I had some guys try to put together a glitch build that would be comparable to this one. And it was basically impossible. A 6-7 point guard glitch build either was a little bit faster with no rebounding, or it came with a high rebound but with bad dribbles or low three-point rating. All sorts of things you just couldn't do with a glitch build. This build is not a glitch build. This is a straight up in the lab chemistry assignment that can't be duplicated unless you follow my steps exactly. So far, it's the most balanced build I have. You guys know I'm always in the gym getting that plus four speed, running around with an 86 speed and an 84 acceleration. This build is amazing. So as you can see, got my shirt removed. And then we realized I was at 90% to level 30. Time to get that mascot. So let's go crazy and get it. Dime to the corner to my man Lotto. He bricked it. Oh, you got Damn. I forgot he did that. Spin move, behind the back, step back, crossover, go to the rack, dunk it on him. For one more game to get that mascot. We love playing at the Knights. I'm a beast of the East. But my second favorite location to play at is definitely at the Knights. I actually used to like the old Knights court too with the bridge. Wish they would have kept that. I just think it looks better here at nighttime with this color scheme. Plus, you know, I like to switch things up for you guys, give you some different locations. I still think 2K needs to make these like different affiliations have totally different environments, you know, like a beach, the hood, stuff like that. We discussed that in previous videos as I knocked down that mid range fade for the win. Build, I have Circus 3s, but I don't have Chef. A lot of times you guys see me doing size ups or left to right crossovers. I try to do that to activate rhythm shooters. So this way I know when I go to pull up, I'm gonna have this badge activated. Screen or no screen, I still recommend putting Pick Dodger on gold to Hall of Fame. 
just to make sure you have that extra speed when moving left to right on defense. Sometimes I take it even further, add on gold tireless defender, and then it's really hard to get past me, especially if I have one of my defensive takeovers on. Drum roll, please. As you can see, I got my mascot. And they gave me Rumble the Bison from OKC Thunder. And it's funny because I was watching like a Bigfoot show and they gave me the one mascot that looks just like a Bigfoot with horns. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm digging it. Initially, I didn't want any mascot that was like really fat because then I wouldn't be able to see my dribbles. And I wanted to kind of see, you know, how my man is moving still. I just thought it looked cool. Like I, I like the Hawks mascot. I really like that. Bucks mascot, I like the Bulls mascot. There's a whole bunch of them that are pretty cool. The Gorilla, I like the Lion, the Indiana Pacers, I like the Charlotte Hornets. But this one isn't too bad though. I mean, he's big and hairy and, and scary looking. And the funny thing is, is he's pretty confusing. When I'm dribbling right in front of people, they will not know what I'm doing. Like because of the horns, everything's like confusing and, and like disorientating. Like look at this man, just be standing there as he gets dunked on. That's crazy. Like, look at this again. When I be ISO and people, they, they just like, look at those horns in the head. <laughs> like, I swear he's standing there like, what did he just do? I can size up right in front of people and it's like, if you do that in and out move, they have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> they just standing there like, what? Is he going to what? So needless to say, I'm pretty satisfied with Sasquatch. And I don't think I'm gonna be buying another mascot, especially because I'll be going over to current gen on PS4, and I don't feel like doing that grind all over again, you know, for another mascot on current gen. But I mean, also they, they're like 100,000 BC. I don't know if I want to put that much money into a, a, you know, just a cosmetic mascot uniform or something like that. Besides, I don't know what's coming for season eight. We'll just have to see. If I get a whole bunch of VC, you know, from grinding, because I don't, I know for sure I'm not making any more builds. This is definitely the last build I'm making on next gen. If I make another one, it'll be because you guys want me to. <laughs> Plus, there's just so many other things I'm kind of excited about. We just had the state of play and Xbox Bethesda games that were just announced. There's so many new games that are coming out real soon. I don't know if I want to put too much time. I usually, in the summertime, I spend more time, you know, playing other games. I'll get some 2K gameplays over the weekend for the events, and then it's so easy for me to do. And then after that, I just play some other games. So look forward to some other content on this channel as oh, this, well. This mascot is kind of fun, bro. I don't think he can really see what moves I'm doing. Recently been playing a lot of Fortnite. That is definitely my second favorite game. So send me a friend request. Next time I put a vid out, you'll see my gamer tag and account and everything. And I'll definitely pick you guys up. I have plans for a mascot only event. It'll be on next gen Xbox because it's the only place I have a mascot. So <laughs> we'll probably do something dope on the Kobe courts and have a lot of fun with the community. I'll try to do some more community events before the end of this year. I'm still having a ton of fun. I have like five builds on both consoles now. Next gen PS5, Xbox, and I'm gonna have a, a new build on PlayStation 4 as well. So we're gonna have some fun to close out the year. I'm looking forward to what 2K is gonna do for 2K23. There's a lot more information on that yet to come. Expect a ton of content to be coming out in August. So let me know in the comment section, what was your favorite game that came out so far that's been announced this summer? Is it Overwatch 2? Is it Street Fighter 6? What about Starfield? See you guys in the next one. Yeah. Look, My God. it's MP where the be at though. Yeah, top of the stats where we be at though. Yeah, see a bad boy, no three at those. What? Holes on the rail, no D's at those. Oh, you thought it wouldn't get back to me? My whole factory key, no, I'm a supreme athlete that's built in a factory like Shaq and Cole. Whoa, whoa, hey. And go tickety clack when it's beat. What's beef? Beef is when you run it through the city, 50 beat. Beef is when you copy in the style of MP. Hey, beef is when you pull up three. Pass up when they call on me. MP.